This is the most ridiculous pepper cannon, pepper mill. They call it a pepper cannon. It's a pepper mill. And it's the most ridiculous thing that I think you can find on the internet when it comes to a pepper grinder. Uh, it's solid aluminum. It's made by Man Kitchen. They've got some cool stuff. If you check out their website, I have their oven mitts, apron, and scissors, and their smash burger uh, spatula. The stuff is heavy duty. It's really well made. This, by the way, is a microplane uh, grater for zesting limes. It's the best zester I've ever seen. Uh, the zest doesn't get caught in here. You can just rinse it out. Um, super sharp. I love this thing. I'll put the link back below. But, uh, but anyway, this video is about the pepper grinder and what comes with it. Fancy box. You get an extra O-ring. That O-ring is for the bottom right here. I guess that wears out. Maybe they think that wears out. Uh, so I'll have to store that in a drawer, but uh, I haven't used it yet. Uh, I just wanted to give you my impression of uh, what you get for 200 bucks when you spend the money on a solid aluminum pepper grinder. And some thoughts on why you would wanna do that. Anyway, stay tuned. Okay, so uh, to, it, it's got a quick release. You push down on the top button here and it pops right off. It's spring-loaded. Uh, you cannot push it, oh, you can. I thought you, I must have lined it up wrong before. Yeah, see, oh, so you can't, you can put it back on without pushing the button, but you gotta push the button to get it off. It's, uh, this is stainless. You look down in there, it's got uh, burrs like a coffee grinder, conical. A conical mill, I believe, is what's, what that's called. Very impressive looking. Uh, you pull the bottom off, and you can control the grinds by turning this. But first you have to put this back on because the whole thing spins. So you have to hold the cap, and then you can click through. Click, click, click. You can click through the different grinds. It shows you coarse, or uh, I guess we'll put it on. Well, you get really coarse. Holy cow. We'll put it at about in the middle. Uh, they give you some um, pepper. So let's go ahead and open that up. Not sure if this is special pepper. Just looks like pepper to me. Let me cut this open. And we'll go ahead and pour it in here. There we go. So that packet fills it right up to the ribs there. So they make this uh, bottom so that you can do a couple things. Let's try that first. So we'll just give it a couple turns. Grind it into the bottom and then you can shake it over your, uh, look at that, that was just three turns. So one of the things that they advertise is just how much pepper you get. That was three grinds. I don't know why you would need like an, an incredible amount of pepper per grind. Uh, but if you wanted to grind it into the thing here, then you could sprinkle it over your food. Uh, or you could just hold this over. And I can see why this would be handy if you're using it out on the barbecue. I don't necessarily want fat and uh, oils getting up in here. So I think I probably would 
grind in here, shake it over the steak. Uh, let's just give it a twist here. So that's half a turn. And that's about the coarseness I would use on a steak. So it's about halfway, it looks like. They've got some writing in here. Uh, the model number, Pepper Cannon, Man Kitchen, Coarse Fine. The pepper smell is just amazing. Um, but why, why would I buy this thing? Well, I intend to keep this out by the grill. So what I've been doing is uh, just salting the meat inside, searing it, and then I put the pepper outside. Uh, so number one, I wanted a pepper grinder outside. Uh, this is my collection right over here of, uh, I haven't put the uh, pots and pans away from last night, but I've got um, uh, white pepper that I'm almost out of, gotta refill that, black pepper, green pepper, and depending on what I'm cooking, I use all three. I've got some Himalayan sea salt here. I've got a blend of white, black, and green peppers, and then these red little cherry things. They're not actually peppers. And then this is Szechuan pepper. Uh, this has got some heat to it, and uh, it's got some uh, coarseness to it. You really have to use, you have to cook this down um, to use it. Uh, but those are Szechuan peppercorns. They grind really nicely. Uh, and then these little cherries that I was talking about, if you know anything about peppercorns, there's no such thing as a red peppercorn. Um, that is a actually a different species, but it adds just a little bit of tang. Uh, so I wanted to keep a pepper mill outside. And what better mill to put outside than a solid aluminum beast like this? Uh, so I think it's going to work really well. Is it worth $200? Prob probably. I mean, it's, it's really well made. It's uh, very, very heavy. Uh, just this, whoop, forgot that I put them in there. Just this little release alone is uh, just very, it's all precision. Very impressive. So if you uh, have nothing else to do with $200, I guess, getting this pepper mill would be a good idea. But if you do want something that produces quite a bit of pepper and um, will hold up to the elements if you plan on keeping it outside, like I do, uh, this seems to be probably the best thing on the internet. So that's my review, Man Kitchen. Well, not really my review, my show and tell of Man Kitchen, Pepper Mill, I'll sh I'm sure I'll do a couple videos uh, cooking something and I'll use this thing and I'll have some more commentary. It's kind of a flat black, very smooth, but you can see oils and stuff kind of show up on it. They do seem to just rub right in. Uh, but uh, it's, certainly, it's certainly quality. If you need a pepper mill that is, that is this well made, this is, uh, I think, your only option. Anyway, thanks for watching. One other thing I just noticed, it's kind of neat. My other pepper grinder does not seem to do this. So if I just, just give it a grind, I mean, you can see this little stuff here, but we're just gonna give it a grind, right? One, two. And I think this is a uh, quality of this type of conical grinder. So you've got all this coarse grind on there. Go ahead and just dump that off. And you've got all this fine grind mixed in. I actually really like that. This fine grind will uh, really penetrate the food and, and uh, probably give you even more flavor than the coarse. But by setting it, you don't just get the coarse, you get both in the same grind, which I didn't realize that until I shook the napkin off to throw it away when I was done with the video. But I thought I'd show you that because my other pepper grinder this one, this is a Cole and Manson. See, it just gives you, let's get a new napkin. Uh, it's a pretty good side by side, by the way. This is a normal pepper grinder. One, two, three. And when you shake that off, look at, you hardly get any of these little flavorful specks that I actually want. So go ahead and uh, new napkin and we'll go one, oop, 
forgot that was on there. We'll go uh, one, two. It's not even two full turns. <laughs> thing is ridiculous. Shake that off. Look at all that. Lots more of the little flavor. I get that it's twice as much pepper that's coming out, whatever, 10 times as much. A lot more pepper coming out, but um, all, all the uh, different sizes of pepper that come from you know one setting, I think that's a neat thing. The other thing that's really interesting is when I, when I uh, grind this, I can smell the pepper immediately. When I grind the other one, I can't. Could be quantity, but it also could be the type of milling that's occurring. It's really pulverizing it down to uh, something you could get some serious flavor out of. So maybe that's another reason uh, that warrants the price. But, uh, but either way, I can't say that I'm at all disappointed. It just seems to get better and better. Okay, the video really is over now. Thanks for watching. See you next time.